Hello my fellow freedom builders and welcome back to the channel and to yet another video, the third episode in a row here with my favorite YouTube channels in the financial investment space uh, here on YouTube. Uh, thank you for the many uh, nice feedbacks and the many good suggestions of new videos I could take uh, in in, a, in a episode 4 at some point. I'm listing them all up and we'll have a look at them in the coming weeks. But today, episode 3 is the last one in the series for this time. I have, uh, I think, around 10 v uh, channels for you today and let's just jump, jump straight into it. The other day I mentioned uh, a channel called, uh, I think it's The Swedish Investor. Yes, The Swedish Investor. And uh, that was about book reviews done in this uh, scribe uh, where we are getting a, a nice little uh, drawn explanation about what this book is about. There's another channel that is also growing nicely and where the, the reviews of the books are, are equally good as to The Swedish Investor, I think. It is not uh, as large yet, but I have a feeling that uh, that he will be. It's called Financial Freedom. Uh, if you like the Swedish in investor, I am certain that you're gonna like uh, financial uh, wisdom here. Uh, have a look at it. And uh, as always, uh, if you haven't uh, if if you haven't seen the others, I'm listing all the channels I mentioned here. I'm listing this in in the text section below the video. So um, if you don't have patience to hear my point of, of view on, on on these, then you can just uh, scroll down and have a look for yourself. Also remember to hit the subscribe button. I think I don't need to say that because you probably already have. On to the next one. And uh, that is a channel that some of you might know, at least those of you that are into dividend investing, because that is PPC Ian. Uh, this guy is named Ian and uh, he's up at 60,000 subscribers now. And he's pretty much telling you about the dividend investment he's making. He's uh, having a look at, for instance, the 2020 crisis here, dividend cuts. Uh, this is simply, if you're a dividend investor or you want to be, this is absolutely a place you, uh, you want to visit. Uh, I think he, uh, he shows his portfolio in there as far as I remember. And um, he's not growing as quickly anymore. Not certain if uh, I can see he's uploading fairly steadily here. So that is not the reason. Uh, I think the videos are okay. Maybe some of them uh, are a bit long. That could be set for my videos as well, I know. But some of them are up around an hour uh, talking about different dividend stocks. And that might be just in the long end for some of you. But luckily, we can skip further on uh, if we want to. But P P PPC Ian here is uh, definitely worth a visit if you are into the dividend investing part. Another one also focused. Sorry, I ha I skipped one here. Let's take this one first. We we are seeing another dividend channel uh, just in a second. But a nice channel I have found here is one that has grown very, very quickly since I started uh, watching him. And that is this guy. I think his name is Jack Chappell or Chappell, something like that. 311,000 subscribers here. And as you can see, the videos here are a bit in the same space as if you remember the video the other day where I reviewed the channel called The Market is Open. This is um, research videos. It, you can see here the incoming currency crisis. Uh, eight minutes, they're not long. Something is shady with the stock market, the next trillion dollar industry, the water empires, the new trade empires, uh, new battlegrounds, new superpowers. He's doing some, I think, actually very good and short analysis um, parts here. China and trouble and so on. And you can see he's actually shifted a bit direction here from the best financial decisions, uh, start a business with no money and so on, um, uh, the holy grail of investment. And then he has taken it in and you can see it in, in, in the number of views here, 3,700 and so on. And then he starts with this, the story of Slack and he starts with these more research focused um, videos. And I think this is a good example of a channel that finds uh, its own niche, its own space. But because as soon as he goes this way, you can see the number of views here are exploding. 
So um, that's also a little lesson to those of us that have uh, YouTube channels that when you find your niche, you should really dig deep into it and just focus there. But the Jack Chappelle, let's call him that, absolutely worth a visit. Then we have The Motley Fool. We cannot uh, have a channel review without mentioning, mentioning The Motley Fool. The Motley Fool is a, a, a channel and a website that has been here, I don't know, forever. I'm not even sure when they started. Let's just see here. 2006, yeah, f 14 years old is it. So it's not even that big compared to how many years it has been here. But it is a good analysis side, how to invest in aug uh, augmented reality, if you are into that. Um, where to invest a thousand dollars, how to invest in a bear market, uh, how has the US avoided a recession for a decade. So they have, I think they have different analysts that have different focuses, uh, how to value a stock, uh, the right way to invest money, what is dividend yield. So they both have these um, frequently asked questions They have some uh, analysis videos, educational videos. It is a bit more uh, all over the place, but actually a fairly good channel with some, uh, they're not short videos, but I think they are very much in depth, top 5G stocks to buy right now and so on. Uh, absolutely also uh, um, a channel that you should visit once in a while. Next one. Um, and that is, uh, I recently made a couple of video, videos about options. And if you have seen these, I actually refer to a website and a channel called Project Options. And that is this guy. Uh, and he is doing a tremendous job uh, with educational videos on options. Again, a YouTuber uh, has a niche uh, going down into the, the, the option part here. And if you are into options, this is a must see. Uh, absolutely. They are well composited, well designed, uh, very well explained. All of these sometimes a bit uh, complex concepts in the options trading. So um, he's absolutely worth uh, some, some time, some watch time if you're into options. If you don't like options, you should definitely not visit him because this is 100% all about options. All right. Um, then we are going into a bit more technical analysis space here and actually also a bit more into day trading, maybe some Forex and so on. But even though you're not into day trading and Forex, I think you can learn a lot from this UK spread, uh, spread betting guy here. Uh, he has a ton of videos and um, I think they're short. It is good advice. Uh, this is this guy uh, just in front of his screen and uh, uh, telling us, uh, different things. There was a, a over trading, swing trading, choosing the right market, and so on. I think the topics are very good, and um, and he's 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 very competent uh, to to talk about this. But if you are not into technical or maybe the very short day trading uh, and, and swing trading, this might not be as much for you. But um, I uh, I enjoy it a lot and. Uh, I should say I got a question the other day why I don't subscribe myself to some of some of these channels and that is because I have several YouTube channels so this one for instance I subscribe to from the other channel so that's the answer to that. All right, then we have the channel that I thought we were visiting before with the dividend channels. Joseph Carlson, 110,000 subs here. And he is um, mostly dividend focused, uh, absolutely. He's a dividend investor as far as I can tell, but he also go in depth with financial news, given his, t uh, his take on, on different things. The economy starts to open, uh, no free money, why I hate stock, stock buybacks and so on. Um, they are, uh, I, I, I don't know, a bit long maybe, half an hour, but many of my videos are the same. But I must say that this young guy, uh, he has made a very good channel here. And I know a lot of dividend investors in Denmark, at least the ones I'm talking to, they have this as their favorite channel to, to watch. So um, this is a good channel. I think uh, he also go in depth with some of the uh, topics here and he's doing a lot of research on them. So it is not just uh, an opinion based channel. Uh, it is a, a decent, a very decent and, and, and in-depth amount of work he's, he's putting in here. So Joseph Carlson, also uh, worth a visit. All right, then we have uh, some channels that are not entirely investment channels. 
and um, some would say that they might be they might uh, be called a bit political or some would even call them a bit uh, dystopic uh, or at least very bearish because the first one we have here is bull boom bear bust and um, I think when I started watching him he had 10 or 15,000 subscribers uh, so he's all also doing very well and what he's doing uh, this guy is um, taking a look under uh, under the hood of the economy under the surface and he's trying to look at some of the numbers that are not the, um, the the obvious numbers the numbers that the medias are reporting when we're seeing a uh, unemployment number uh, before, of course, a crash, uh, but at 3.8%. Well, this guy is taking a look at, is that really true? And you can see um, stock market high on hope, economic carnage ahead, housing bubble 2.0. Um, when does it end? It's fake. Late payment explode. As you can see, if you don't want to be just a little bit uh, depressed, uh, then you should definitely not choose this one because it is not a light and bright picture he is painting. And there would definitely be economists and, and different analysts are saying this is way too pessimistic. But I also like to see this and I think it is important. Also, when I watch the news, I'm watching everything from MSNBC over CNN over Fox over pretty much everything I can because I want to get a nuanced picture. I have a feeling that many people watching YouTube, watching news, uh, they pick the channels and the, the, the news channels that are that, that fit their bias the most. And I actually, even though I disagree with most of what Fox has to say, um, I like to see it because I like to get a bit provoked and, and sometimes take my own biases up and see, uh, is this a fair bias to have? Uh, and I think everybody should do that. So even though you maybe not be a perma bear in the market, then uh, watching a channel like this, bull, bull boom bear bust, um, might be a, a good idea sometimes to see, well, what are the statistics? And this guy is looking a lot at the statistics. Another guy that is even better at this, and I have a feeling that bull boom bear bust, are, he's leaning a bit up of uh, this other guy. I think he's coming here. Yes, that is the money GPS. Um, I must say this is the godfather of negative financial news. Um, when I started watching his channel, I think it was in the end of 2018 or the beginning of 2019. And um, he had this very negative bleak uh, outlook at the economy. And he started to show me a lot of statistics uh, saying that, well, this furnished picture that you're seeing of the US economy and the, and the world economy, that is definitely not the right picture. There's so much else going on underneath. And uh, this is not just some political uh, crackhead. He's actually extremely well documented. And every time, let's just have a look at his channel here. All right, here it is. This is the video why markets haven't cr crashed again. All right, and he's telling us all about uh, what he's thinking this day. And uh, one thing you should realize is down here in the section here, there is, let me just see here, sources used in the video. So if you're seeing something in his video, let's just try and open it here. Then you actually have everything, all the links or to all the graph he's using in the video. Um, and I think that is an extremely cool thing to do. Uh, you're, ju you're not just throwing around numbers, you are actually uh, showing people uh, uh, where you found it and you, uh, um, yeah, you're just listing it up. It must take a ton of time both to find this and, uh, and also to put it up for, for, for display here. Uh, I must say I'm a big fan of this guy, even though I'm not always, uh, I, I don't always completely agree with him. And sometimes I'm sitting with a feeling that uh, he is just a, a bit too pessimistic uh, to say the least. Then I actually enjoy his videos and I make sure I see every single one of them. Uh, and I never leave one of his videos without 
I have been a bit uh, provoked in my uh, thought patterns or uh, sometimes you have opened my eyes to some of the ways they calculate unemployment in the United States and uh, uh, pretty much <laughs> uh, the, the US-China trade deal and so on. Uh, but you won't find many videos, if any, in here saying that, uh, all right, put on a bit grin because we are going for better times. This is not pointing to better times. Uh, he might be wrong, he might be right, but I think he is pointing towards some very important uh, issues in the way we use financial uh, statistics and the way the media are displaying it. I know there are politicians uh, in the United States, for instance, the president right now saying that the media is too critical of him and, his, uh, of, of, and the economy uh, under his presidency. But I must say that when you have watched five or 10 or 15 of the videos here in the Money GPS, you would be sitting with a feeling that the media are actually very, very nice with both this president and all of the former presidents because um, the outlook, if this one is right, uh, is not bright uh, to say the least. But maybe it's somewhere, somewhere between what the Money GPS says and what the normal media says. And I am no not talking about that uh, uh, fake news thing here because I definitely do not think think that the news are fake, but of course they have a bias and of course they have a limited space they can work uh, within. But this is another nice uh, view on the economic situation. Again, just be aware that after going down this rabbit hole, uh, you probably won't come up again and your thought process and your bias will never be the same. All right, uh, the last one today is actually a bit of the same. Um, and that is a guy called George Gammon. And um, this is uh, three steps to chaos proof your financial future. Um, he has some interviews. Uh, the government is going to steal your money. I know this can sound a bit like conspiracy and so on and so forth, but it is actually nothing like it. This guy, I'm not sure what his education is, but I'm pretty sure that he used to be a banker. Because the way he can explain uh, quantitative easings, um, the pricing of oil future, uh, everything, he is extremely knowledgeable. So um, uh, this is definitely a channel that you could drop in and, and have a look at once in a while. It is not the channel I use the most for this stuff. Um, uh, if, if I should choose one of these channels, uh, it would definitely be the Money GPS. But the George Gammon uh, channel is very good at explaining some of these concepts coming up. And uh, for instance, here the, the other day, there was uh, he had a, a, an interview here about the, the, the future is stagflation. And if you don't know what stagflation is, you might want to be looking it up because that might be the future, not for certain, but uh, there's a possibility uh, for it. And um, Maybe this guy is a bit to the conspiracy side, but I actually think that if you're just having your normal sense of uh, of, of uh, source critics, then this is actually also a, a very nice channel to visit to be smarter about the market. All right. Um, I actually have one more channel that I forgot to put on the list today, and I'll just find it for you here. Yes, here we go. That is the last one for today. That is Drawbridge Finance. And again, we have a guy that has, uh, he's actually uh, built uh, his life in a way where he is financial independent today. And he's doing that with dividends and with options. Uh, the same topics I started to talk about in my latest videos here, doing some covered calls, doing some different option uh, strategies. However, this is not just an option channel. It is also about being financial independent, building financial freedom and so on. So uh, he's actually a, a, a very funny and, uh, uh, and, and, and good guy. It is a good setup. It is uh, it's a good channel. The videos are, are nice to see and he knows a lot. He's been trading options and, and investing uh, for many, many years. Uh, I can tell that from, from his videos. And uh, he is building uh, quite a quickly uh, growing channel here. So Drawbridge Finance, um, absolutely also a guy you want to visit. Also, if you're not just an option guy, this can also be 
very educational but if you are into options this is definitely one you want to follow levi woods here from drawbridge finance sorry all right that was it for today as always if you haven't done already remember to hit that subscribe and like button and all these buttons down there uh, all of the links to the youtube uh, channels i have shown you are in the text below and take care of yourself and your money out there talk to you again soon bye for now